So about the Midnight Channel last night, that had to be Risei Kujikawa. It even showed her face this time. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Exactly! So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Ms. Yamano. As for Risei, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the Midnight Channel until after the person enters the TV. Teddy said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first, but now I feel it may be true. The one that appears on TV is your other self. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown unconsciously. But we see them on the Midnight Channel before they disappear. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears. Like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note. But who are they announcing it to? And, and for what? I don't know. Ask the killer. There's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intentions. Well, it's a possibility. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. So, when the killer thinks I'm going to attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? I don't know about that. Well, if we're gonna go that far with it, we might as well say that's the basis for that entire world. Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. As always, nothing makes sense. Hey, Kanji-kun, you still with us? You haven't said a word yet. Uh, well, uh, uh, well, um... You weren't sleeping, were you? Uh, of course not. I was, uh, <clears throat> lost in thought. <sighs> I wish I knew what that world's all about. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprit throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So the TV's a good way to do that, because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? <laughs> well, I know there's a shitload of people who've got my number. How about you, Yukiko-senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No. Uh, Yukiko, there's always a slight chance and you just don't realize it. <laughs> but if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, I'm drawing a blank. Well, the good thing is we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. The only thing we can be sure of now is that Risei is in danger. Wait! We get to do another stakeout? Hell yeah! This time we'll catch him in the act! We gotta go with donuts and milk. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout. Oh, and throw in some disposable diapers. For what? They don't even sell those here. We have them at Juness. Uh, too much information. You guys finished yet? Let's hurry up and get going. Huh? What brings you here? Oh, uh, well, I'm doing legwork. Uh, what did I do to deserve babysitting detail? I mean, it's nothing major. 
It's not like Dojima-san ordered me here. So, what are you kids up to? Buying snacks? We were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see Rise-chan. Oh, I see. Hey, I'm on my way there too. Oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on, he's a detective on active duty, not a bad guy to have around. Don't stop, the culprit might get suspicious. Well, we walked past here like a thousand times already. Come on out, you bastard. We're ready for you. <gasps> Look! Uh, who's there? Damn it! Don't, don't come near me! Shut up! What kind of idiot would listen to... I'll do it, you know. What are you gonna do if I get run over? What? No! If the suspect gets injured, the police will be held responsible. They'll get really angry and... Uh. I'll do it, I swear! So, so get out of here and stop chasing me! Hey, what should we do? How are we supposed to get behind him? Come on, let's just take him down. Alright, on my mark. Look! Over there! A Martian! How dare you assault an ordinary citizen like... Shut the hell up, murderer! We're taking your punk ass in! What? Time out! What do you mean, murderer? It's no use playing dumb. Wait a second! I just really like Rosette, so I wanted to take a peek in her room! Look, see? All I've got on me is a bunch of cameras! Yep, you're the culprit, all right. No two ways about it. All right, I'll take it from here. We'll hear your story down at the station. <laughs> I've waited to use that line. Please, let me go! I didn't do anything wrong! I know for a fact it's not a crime in this country to take secret pictures! Hey, don't you understand what's happening here? You're under suspicion of murder. Come with me. We'll talk about this later. Wow, that went better than I thought. What a coup. I gotta thank you guys for all your help. Well done. Oh, sure! But you really should stop getting involved with this stuff. It's dangerous. I know Dojima-san was worried sick. Come on, let's go. Is it... really over? The rest is up to the cops. Looks like the killer was a pervert, just like we thought. Wait, does that mean the case is closed? Seriously? Awesome! Hey, we should let Risa know the good news. Oh, hello. Would you like some tofu? Oh, uh, uh, hello. Um... Oh, did you come to see Rise? She seems to have gone out, unfortunately. Huh? But wasn't she just here? She does that sometimes. She'll just wander out without a word. 
You must forgive her. She's quite worn out in many ways. She left without saying anything? Come on, you worry too much. She must have just stepped out. I mean, we caught the guy. Wha what are you talking about? We'll discuss it later. If you'll excuse me, I've got to take this guy in for questioning. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Dojima-san's face! She left without saying anything? Could that mean... Shouldn't we look for her? She can't have gone far. Yeah, I agree. Find her anywhere. What about you guys? None of the neighbors have seen her. Maybe we're just not looking in the right places. But where could she have gone? Damn it, this can't be good. I hope I'm wrong. Well, we did everything we can. No use griping about it. The weatherman says it's gonna rain tonight. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and tune in. Anyways, see you tomorrow. 